Right, hi everybody, it's uh, Chris 2E0 UKH in the UK and I'm looking at the R Finder B1. It's a dual band VHF, UHF, DMR, FM and it's got a phone built in, 4G LTE phone. All built into one. It's 4 watts, it's IP67 um, certified and it's got programmable buttons so that you can you know, on things like Zello and TeamSpeak and Echolink and other apps, you can press the button on the side to talk in the app. You know, whatever one it is. So people that like network radio, people that want a phone and a radio all in one, that you don't have to uh, make a code plug for. You know, this is a radio that needs no code plug. You know, that is a big, big selling point. It's got a hotspot mode. It's got a hotspot mode and you type in all the frequency and talk group and things and it sends it over to the radio. I'll leave a link to this page in the description so you can have a look through it all. If you want to see the, uh, you know, the network radio side of things, take a look at Lewis's channel. You know, he's tested all the network radio the you know the android app side of things i'm more interested in the radio uh, in the fm and dmr so uh, take a look at his review and you'll see it working right so this radio is a loner i've borrowed it from moonraker to talk about and it's an expensive radio it's a lot of money but there's not many radios that do this that have a vhf uhf dmr all bit into one all built into one unit you know you'd expect to pay a lot for a decent phone and um, the phone on this is okay it's got four gigs of RAM you know the camera is not incredible but it's a lot better than I thought it would be now you can also use a subscription with this radio and it's it works out about ten dollars ten or ten dollars or ten pounds a year you know pound a month so you don't have to pay for the subscription although if you've gone to the trouble of getting this radio for these um, code plug less features you know you don't need a code plug if you've bought it for that reason it wouldn't be a bad idea or at least just to get it all fully programmed up you, know, you don't have to continue the subscription so this is the R Finder software that I'm running on the uh, radio, on the Android. And I'm just going to take you around some of the settings. So up in the top right, there's three dots. If I tap on the three dots, I can add a repeater or export the list. Yeah, there, there's options in the middle right, just a bit higher than middle right. So in there, there's PTT silent, DMR roaming, admin, admit mode and talk about now in the very bottom left it says dis you can show these repeaters by the distance away from you frequency order or call that red button that means you're on if you turn it off the radio module goes off and it powers it down so you need to make sure the radio part is switched on and next to that is the volume control so the radio is back on. Next to that is the volume control. If I use the clicker knob on the top, I can change the volume level. And there's a map there that you can show repeaters and stuff on a list. Now, in a moment, we're going to go through the three lines, the main menu up in the top left. OK, so I've pressed the three lines up in the top left. Looks like a lot of options here, but there's a lot of stuff here that you only need to use once or twice. And it really is quite straightforward. Android radio. That takes us to the heart of the radio part. You know, high low power, FM wide, narrow, you know, the transmit tones, the input, the output frequency. So if this is all good and you've checked it, it's the right details to open a repeater, you can send these parameters to the radio. You can also save it to memory. So if you know this is good, you can, you know, even on the trial version, you can bring it up from the list and you can send, save it to memory. 
So you could do them one at a time. So our next one down is memories. That's memories that I personally have either entered in myself or taken off the R finder. So there's my mind there. You know, there's different zones. You can rename the zone, delete zone. And there's cloud save options at the bottom. So if you lost your radio, you could restore it. Restore all your channels from the cloud. So next one down is Brandmeister hotspot mode. And on that, it's, it's super straightforward. You know, this no code plug is required. This is a nice, easy way to program your channels up. You know, you put high or low power. Settings lock on and off, on or off. Receive and transmit frequency of your node. You know, if you're Pi Star, you know, if your uh, hotspot, mine is the same as it's simplex, DMR ID, color code, time slot, refresh GRPS, talk group. So it says talk group 91 here. You can change it to a different talk group. And when you've got it, how you like it, you can send it to the radio. Brandmeister Live Hose Line. You know, this is just going to take you to our website that you, you can do anyway. You're going, to, you're going to need Chrome and, you know, but that's just going to take you to a, a website that shows the, uh, the Brandmeister Live Hose Line. In Filter, you can filter out different things that are found in your search of repeaters. You know, like, let's just take another quick look at them. You know, like whether it's uh, 220 or 6 meters, you know, the mode, the band. So you can enable or disable depending on what you're looking for. You've got repeater list. So I've just clicked repeater list. And um, there's all the repeaters at the bottom. Echo link node. So, you know, you get the idea, you know, the... It's got it as a separate section because people might not want them included. So echo link nodes, social check-ins. So it's got social check-ins on there. I haven't explored this, but uh, just click on it. So it's showing people that have keyed up last that are using uh, Rfinder, I would think call sign lookup you know I've done this earlier you just type in a call sign and it it, 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 it I suppose it gets this from QRZ social settings so that's to do with the uh, social check-ins social settings you know you can put distance and things in location override so I did this to hide my exact location you know you can just you can just nominate an actual location rather than it find you Continental preload. So uh, that doesn't sound like it applies to me. I don't even know what that is. I'll put it in the comments if you know. Subscription info. So you know this is just my account and you can continue it. Reset login info. So that's tied in with the subscription. Advanced settings. You know you can put the QRG in the offset. If you're if you're finding the bitrate error, you know the RF from your radio to the hotspot is a bit off. You can alter the frequency, very fine frequency, so it's more spot on. And um, you can load the DMR user database, you know, so. So that uses your internet and it can take quite a while. Two E zero UKH. Uh, can I have a radio check, please? Just checking the audio on this R Finder B one. Two E zero UKH. This is KJ seven KPI. You're coming in loud and clear, Chris. Yeah, thanks a lot. I'm just doing. Uh, I'm just. I'm just filming this, if you don't mind. I'm just testing the R Finder B one. So, uh, 
always always polite to let someone know when you're filming. Back to you. This is us presuming Wouldn't know about being polite. I have one of those as well, but I'm not using it right now. It's uh, it's uh, sitting nearby, uh, turned off, but great radio, very flexible. Uh, I think you'll, if you've just got it, you'll probably really enjoy it. Yes, well, I've got a loan unit. I've got a loan unit, and um, I've just programmed it up, and it seems, it seems pretty good. So, uh, you've bought one, and you enjoy it, yeah? Okay, my friend. in your pocket as easily as uh, one of the newer radios, but my goodness, the flexibility of being able to go to a strange city and immediately get up on a repeater or whatever is, is really, uh, really, really pretty nice. Uh, 20 UKH in 3 Charlie India. Yeah, okay, I'm going to clear because it's a busy one on air. People are trying to use the uh, 91. So thank you for taking part and um, telling us about your experiences. Uh, 73 and uh, speak to you soon. Charlie and there you go. So someone there's already this got one. Awesome. You know, I have used FM. I have used FM repeaters. The ang you know, where I've got the radio, I can't pick any up. But uh, you know, it works just the same as any other FM radio. It's just that there's no others that do this. DMR, FM, and a phone all in one. You know, for, for someone to carry just one device, you know, this would be very, very useful. Would I buy it? Probably not, because I don't need, I don't need one device that does everything. You know, I've got a Samsung S10. I think I would miss some of the phone features. But uh, for someone, it's a very niche market. For someone who wants everything all in one, R-Finder B1.